Okay, we're live. Um, it is 7.50 California time, and we are watching the um, election results come in at this point. Um, Clinton has 131 of the electoral votes, while Trump has 168. Um, so we, I, I'll speak for myself. I'm not popping. Oh, there we go. I'm panicking, you guys. I'm legit panicking. Um, I'm watching TV, and I just keep drinking. <laughs> and I've had a lot, and then I stopped because I thought I might barf from stress or slash drinking a lot. Um, yeah, Laura is asking what is happening. I don't know. <laughs> what is happening is that America is not what I thought it was. What is happening, Paul? Or it is what you thought it well, is. Well, it's what I didn't want it to be. I mean, I thought that that was like a a small minority of like, I don't know. Them. 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 Not the majority. So we have to put it in a perspective. Hillary can still win. Hillary I mean, can still win. I guess the New York Times is giving Trump an 80% chance of winning. Um, right? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, 85% chance of winning. Um, but still... I mean, anything could happen. And so this election isn't over. Um, lots of comments. Uh, a lot of people horrified at how close this is. But the interesting thing is there are slightly more people who aren't horrified. Yeah. Not to go home, America, you're drunk. That, that is true. I mean, you guys, I feel like, I, like, I'm not joking anymore. Like, I feel like we've been doing this. You know, we've been doing this series so. for almost a year. And we've been, we've been laughing and we've been you know, kind of horrified and questioning, but I, I just really didn't think it would come down to this. And I never, I am sitting in a corner. I mean, we've got a ton of friends here and I'm sitting in a corner, just breathing down panic. Like I can't even make small talk or joke anymore. Like I'm really like panicking. The Mexican peso falls in early results. Yeah. The, the Dow is, the futures are down the 500%. Falling, the Mexican peso is falling. How are you feeling, Paul? Well, I mean, falling. I think I'm a Republican. Uh, I today uh, wrote in John Kasich, who I thought was uh, above the fray in the uh, Republican uh, debates and did not fall into the negative campaigning, and he didn't have to during the um, primaries. Um, but I'm in shock, I think. Um, I never thought that Trump would win. And the issue I have, and I think what I'm thinking about right now, is how blatantly, uh, not as a matter of debate, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, racist, uh, misogynistic, uh, xenophobic, Donald Trump has been for a year. Uh, this, these aren't rumors. Uh, we've heard, all heard him. Yeah. Uh, even two weeks ago, calling an African American at his uh, rally a thug, uh, and the African American was a Trump supporter, but he happened to be black, mm -hmm. and he was kicked out. Mm -hmm. um, and how it seems like the majority of Americans don't seem to have a problem with the most sinister and sick treatment of women, uh, uh, boasting of grabbing women's genitalia as though they are objects, and apparently more Americans are okay with that in the name of change uh, than they are with somebody who's certainly shady, but definitely qualified to be the president. I mean, I honestly, my kids are in the next room watching a movie, and like, I just don't even want them to see what's happening right now. I picked my son up from school, my 11-year-old, and he has a Chromebook, and he had been following the election results as he was sitting and waiting for me to pick him up, and he was gobsmacked that Trump was in the lead. And I just said, no, 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 no. Like, that's just some weird states. Like, it'll change so fast. Just trust me. And now I feel like, literally, I'm sitting here thinking, how do I explain this to my children if he wins? Yeah. I mean... And I'm trying not to preemptively grieve because we don't know yet. Right. But this looks bad. And even if Hillary wins, I think I'm just a little bit in shock that our country could be this close. Yeah, absolutely. And I, we listened to Glenn Beck, uh, who is a conservative and, uh, you know, some would say a nut job conservative yeah. a little while ago on NBC. Yeah. And he said something that struck me as remarkably wrong and what he said was we need to listen I'm a Republican and I'm a leader and I'm a you know big-time journalist and I have overlooked the millions of Americans in the rural areas who haven't been listened to and frankly I don't want to listen to racists 
I don't think that xenophobes and, yeah. and, and, and misogynists yeah. need to be listened to. I and agree. I think that is where the divide is coming down in this country. There are people who are okay, yeah. evidently, with somebody who has yes. this kind of reckless uh, treatment of minorities, yeah. of all the others out there. And apparently the majority of Americans are okay with it. I mean, I don't think it's a coincidence that this is happening after... Obama's presidency, I think that for a lot of, um, you know, covert racists, it was just uncomfortable for them to have a black man as the president, and I think this is a pendulum swing um, of people, you know, who want to restore kind of white supremacy at the end of the day. And it's interesting how even when Kristen and I first started talking about this um, this little series over a year ago, we went into this thinking we were going to debate. Yes. This is, was going to be a, um, sorry, my beer, um, a socialist Democrat. I've, a, cut my, I've literally cut myself off because I've had a lot to drink. Um, you know, the socialist uh, liberal Democrat on one yeah. side versus this left. lifelong Republican on the other. And it's actually kind of fused us together yeah. at, the, in the end, at the end of the day yeah. uh, in the same way that Condoleezza Rice and Mitt Romney and the list goes on and on of Republicans uh, who will not support Donald Trump um, yeah. and many of whom voted for Hillary Clinton. I mean, I'm like, I'm watching all of these comments of people asking, how do we explain this to our kids? And like, it's making me cry. I don't know. How, how do we explain this to our kids? The, I hope I don't have to. I really hope I don't have to. I mean, I'm so stressed out at that prospect. And, and not just how do we explain, well, like how do we explain this to our kids and how do we live under it? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. And I think you're right. I think even if Hillary pulls it out, there is still a mandate uh, that's been set that many, many Americans, maybe half of the Americans in this country, are okay with racism, with this kind of package, Madison Avenue, KKK. I mean, ultimately, I think that's what Trump's campaign has been about, a new 21st century version of KKK, uh, anti-Semitism, racism. Um, that's our dog, it'll find beer, yeah. These are great comments, there's so many. Uh, it's done, pretty sure he just took Florida. Florida got called for Trump. Where does that take him on electoral votes? 197 to 131 before uh, California and Pennsylvania. Okay, but if... So he won Florida. Um, yeah, how do we I'm explain this? Florida. I'm from Florida, and I would just like to formally apologize for the entire state. And I was just and, there. And and I, there were Trump signs everywhere. And we have, I have to say to the Trump supporters, because I have a lot of Republican, fellow Republican friends of mine, who, if Trump was behind right now, he would be talking about a rigged election. Yeah. He would be talking about how the entire system is rigged and it's against him. But because he's winning, you will not hear any Trump surrogates or Trump himself or Trump supporters talking about a rigged election. I... I feel like I'm having like an out of body experience right now. Like, I brought champagne over tonight. Like, I I feel like I'm being punked or I'm having like a stress dream. Like, this is not really happening. Okay, so Hillary won um, Colorado. Am I just holding on to hope where there's no hope? Because I don't want Trump to win. She won Colorado. So where are we if she wins Colorado? But they called Colorado. They called CNN it. did. I just got the... Yeah. They called it. So that, the 131 is including Colorado. Oh, it is, oh, it is including Colorado? Someone pinch her. Um, this is where faith, our faith comes. Yeah. I, I, I'm blacking out at this point. Exactly. Why can't this be rigged? Yeah. I mean, Hillary's not complaining about a rigged election. It is like the Twilight Zone. Champagne bottle is gone. I don't know. Well, I, think I feel like I have nothing of value to say right now other than I think, and it, it's interesting, I mean, this is the most people we've had watching this video because I think collectively we're all trying to make sense of this. Like, I think we're all just going like, what is happening right now? Yeah, I mean, there is clearly, there are clearly two Americas and one is, um, is 
educated, and that doesn't necessarily mean college educated, but thoughtful, traveled Americans, um, minorities, people that live in densely populated areas who have a certain view of accepting others of a racially diverse America. And you have people in these rural areas, and this is where the election's being won. They're saying that people showed up in the rural parts of this country uh, overwhelmingly uh, define the odds, define what all the pollsters thought uh, for Donald Trump. So you have a certain America in these rural areas, you drive through them when you're on vacation, and those people showed up in drastic numbers to say, we want, we want the old America. Meaning the white supremacist America. You know, somebody just said we were voting against Hillary and her corruptness, and I, I mean, I, re I really have to push back against that. And, and let me say that I, I was not for Hillary. You I weren't. Was for Bernie, yeah, for a long time. And I do, ag I do agree that I do think Hillary is corrupt. I think that she is um, old politics. I think that she bears that kind of Clinton legacy of just kind of being about old money and backroom deals and all of that. I agree. However, you line that up with Trump, who is a misogynist, racist, disgusting, lacking impulse control, narcissist, and her corruption doesn't even come close yeah. to the character defects that we see in this man. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you just get the idea that, she, I get the thought that she, Hillary would have been or would be a good president. Um, you know, when push comes to shove, if there's an international crisis, she would be a good president. And Donald Trump said he would blow the Iranian boats out of the water for taunting us. And that's what Our we're stuck with. Our friend Caleb is saying, you guys need a third commentator. I volunteer. Come over, Caleb. Get over, over here. Get over here. It's, we've got plenty of time. Come over. Seriously, I dare you, Caleb, to come over. <laughs> Caleb Clemens. Get over here. Come over. Text me. I'll give you our address. No. Um, but I just, again, I just go to, there are clearly two Americas, and yeah. I, I am a Republican. I have a lot of friends that are Trump supporters, and they genuinely think he would be better for our country, and that is the sobering reality. Well, I have a lot of friends who are Republican, and I have a lot of friends who voted for Trump in secret, and I think, and I, I said this before, I mean, these are the people that are responsible for this, the people who just are so stuck in the Republican ideology that they can't vote for someone else. They can't see how bad things really are, you know? Yeah. And we're, Chris and I are playing around with a, with a podcast or some kind of something cast because in the church, and we're both Christians, uh, we're just noticing a kind of civil war happening even within church because it, it used to be progressives against evangelicals. But now within the evangelical church, you have this new divide of evangelicals for Donald Trump yeah. and evangelicals against Donald Trump. That's new. Yeah. We need a beer and hymns tonight. We need a beer and hymns tonight. We do. Maybe we'll just... We're going to... We're going <laughs> to... We're going to take a break and come back. We might just... We might just break into beer and hymns. We, we basically have the entire band here. The whole band, the whole band is here. It's becoming a show here. He's gonna break into beer and right, hymns. Look, look at those numbers. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, what? Oh my God! Okay. California was called. Anything could happen. Hillary Anything could happen. Okay, Hillary's at 190. But that's including California. That's including California. Hillary's Gina. at 171. Gina, oh, this, Gina, the squirt, the playing squirt playing bottle is. I, I love you. Just squirt. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, 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 I love you. Just squirt the dog. It's just water. It's not like turpentine. Okay, here's the deal. It's coming down. Heather Clement said that Caleb is coming over. Yes. Okay. I know. So. <laughs> We're all terrified. North Carolina. It's coming down to North Carolina. What's... North Carolina? They, they pulled Florida back. They pulled Florida back. It's 2000. It's the year 2000 again. Oh, my gosh. Why Florida? It's always Florida. Every time you see some crazy thing happen in the news, 
like someone ate someone's face off, it's like it's gonna be Florida every time. Freaking Florida. You know, it's interesting watching, reading most of your comments. Most of you are in agreement with us, but again, I keep going back to half of the country at least is not in agreement with us. They have voted for Donald Trump. Yeah. Beer and hymns, please. I'm about to sing Jesus Take the Wheel. Do it! <laughs> Crystal Lewis, you get over here and do it. No, I want to listen to you do it. I'll sing background. The Dow is down 700 points as the world turns. What else is happening out there? They're not going to pull Ohio back. Ohio, he killed it in Ohio. What's Look, going on? Hillary's, t Hillary's Twitter account says, this team has so much to be proud of. Whatever happens tonight, thank you. No, that, that sounds like a concession. That sounds like a concession. That does not make me feel good. Gosh. I feel sick. All right. We might be back in a bit. Yeah, we're going to come back, you guys. We're, we, we're going to come back in about, what, 40? 39, 5. 30, to, 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, so it's 8 o'clock Pacific time right now. We'll be here at about 8.30. 8.30, and we, we might be singing some. <laughs> we might be singing the blues. We might. This election isn't over. It's not over. Don't go. That would be Chad Don't Markley and, and National Recording Artist Crystal Lewis. I mean, she's so oh, okay. Thank you, Anna. She wrote that Twitter update before any polls closed. Oh, okay. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Guys, we, have, we live in a great country, and if Donald Trump wins, I will support him as our president. Okay. I will continue to try to find me. <laughs> and right after, I will slip my throat. <laughs> We'll be back in a little See bit. See you in a bit.